What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 1412. Find the quiet students in all exams. You guys asked for a hard problem. This one is hard. Let's get into it. We have two tables, one called student, one called exam. Student contains a student ID and student name of students. Exam contains an exam ID, the student ID that's also found in student and that student score in that exam. A quiet student is the one who took at least one exam and didn't score neither the high score nor the low score, the average student. Write an SQL query to report the students being quiet in all exams, so they didn't have one high or low score. Don't return the student who has never taken any exam. Return the result table ordered by student ID. It should look something as following. Student ID and student name of quiet students in all exams. In this case we just have Jade because Jade never scored a high or low score in any exam. Let's get into coming up with a solution. Just make sure you understand the problem. We have exams with ID 10, 20, 30 and 40. Let's go through these examples. We have the low score of 70 for exam 10, the high score of 90 for exam 10. We have another score being 80 and student ID had that score of 80. Student ID is Jade, who's our only quiet student in the output, so that works. Let's see how Jade did in the other exams. We have exam 20, only student ID 1 took that exam, so Jade didn't even take that exam. Just as is with exam ID 30, Jade didn't, took, didn't take that one either. And exam ID 40 has been taken by Jade, she scored in the middle of the park again, 70, while the low score is 60 and high score is 80. We have a student, Will, with student ID 5, who didn't take any exams, and that's why he also doesn't show up in the result table. So that works. Let's see how we actually get that into SQL logic. I want to first do the same thing that I did right here, find out the high and low score of exams and have that in one table. So let's start out by selecting from exam, since I think everything we need is in there for now. Let's select exam ID and the lowest score, min score, S score from exam and we need to group that by exam ID. We run that, we get the lowest scores for each exam being 70 for 10, 80 for 20, 70 for 30 and 60 for 40. I also want to get the max scores, the highest scores per exam but I want that to be in the same column as min score is since I want to be able to compare a student's exam score and then say if that is either the highest or the lowest score then that's not a quiet student. We want to get rid of that and don't keep that in our output. So I want that to be in the same column that's why I'm using union. So let's union that to the same thing just exchanging min with max. We shouldn't have any duplicates so let's use regular union here and that's, that, that looks fine. Let's just run that, see what it gives us. So we have high and low scores for each exam and we can use that as a lookup table to see whether our students scored one of these scores in these exams. That means they're no longer a quiet student. So now that we have that, I'll transform that into a subquery and put that towards the end of our query. Since now I just want to get exam scores of students and compare that to that sub query to make sure their scores don't show up in this table of loud scores being the highest or lowest scores. So let's just select student ID, exam ID and score from that should all be an exam yes from exam where exam ID 
and score are not in this subquery of loud scores. If I put that into brackets, I can compare that tuple, these two elements, with what's in the table, which also has two, two columns. So let's see what we have here. We have two 1080 being Jade scoring 80 in exam 10, which is not a loud, loud score. Then we have three 3080, which would be Stella scoring 80 in exam ID 30. And we have Jade again scoring 70 in exam 40. Let's, let's think about why Stella is not a quiet student. She scored 80 in 30, but then she also scored the highest score in exam ID 10. So that's why our code doesn't work yet and that's not correct yet. Okay, this code snippet tells us that these students are quiet students in these exams, but we want to make sure they're quiet students in all exams. And that's not true for Stella here. Stella is not a quiet student in exam ID 10 since she had the top score. So we need to take care of that somehow. And since we want to make sure that they're quiet student in all students, we, make, we need to make sure that none of their scores are loud scores, as in in here. So we're going to do that by using group by on our table. So let's think about how we would transform that. We group by student ID and need to use having here. Don't think we can use where anymore since we, we're grouping by student ID to do this analysis per student ID and see does that student ID any does that student ID have any loud exam scores? And we want them to have zero loud exam scores, if that makes sense. So the sum of their loud exam scores should be zero. Okay, so we're going to change this not in to in. And what that's going to do is we're going to check if they had a highest or lowest score being a loud score. And sum is just going to check how often did that occur. So in this case, Jade should have a value of zero. She should have zero loud scores. And that's what, what we're going to check for here. We're using sum to see how often that exam ID and score shows up in the high and low scores subquery. And if that count is zero, then we're going to output and these rows. Let's just output student ID for now. Okay, let's see if that runs. It does give out Jade only, which is nice. We just need to get student name in there. But let's take a moment to think about what I did here. So I used group by on student ID to get the sum of loud scores of that student. I need to use having to filter on that count. I could also have that in uh, the select statement to actually give you the count. Let's try that. It's a bit ugly, but whatever. Let's just do it. Let's put that in here, remove that having maybe. And yeah, let's, let's see what that gives us. It should give you the count in here, which is going to be four for student ID 1. Student ID 1 had four loud exams where they either had the high or low score. Two had zero, three had one, that's Stella. Four had two, and five doesn't even show up here since they didn't take a, an exam at all. Okay, so now what I'm doing is, let's try to get that back to where it was. All right, 
that looks good. What I'm doing is I'm using having to filter on that value we just created and making sure that value is zero since that means there are quite students in all exams. So I'm re removing all values down here that are not zero, leaving us with student ID 2 that is quite in all exams because it has a value zero here. Okay, now what's left to do is order by student ID, as it says here. Fair enough. And also we need student name as an output. And student name is in student, so we need to join student after all. So let's select student ID from exam, join student. Using student ID, I'm going to write it out as uh, on ex exam.studentID is student.studentID and then we can select student name as well. I'll change that to student.studentID so that SQL is not confused as to which table I'm selecting from since student ID appears in both and then that's looking pretty good. Let's run that again, see if it still works and submit it, see if it's accepted. It is accepted. As you can see that was a hard problem so I had a hard time explaining it or I hope you can follow my thought process. What I can mention here on the sum filter or having filter here on that aggregate function is that this works in MySQL since that is a logic expression. In operator returns true if that if these values are in that table. And we're summing up true values and true evaluates to one if it's if it's a true value and zero if it's a false value. So sum is going to tell us how many times is that true and count up how many that times is true. If you want to write it out, I took a bit of a shortcut here. You could use if notation in MySQL or case when exam ID in this subquery then one else zero and you would have to write that out in other SQL dialects. I know that's the case in PostgreSQL and some others as well probably but if we run that it should also work and if we submit that it's also accepted. I was just able to make a bit of a shortcut using MySQL here. Anyways that's been it for this problem. Hope you enjoyed it. Another hard one for a change and if you want to see more of these I have a playlist on hard lead code database problems as well as medium and easy and I also set up a fiber page to practice SQL coding interviews with me personally or get your resume reviewed if you're interested in that. Link is going to be down below as well as for the playlist. Otherwise consider subscribing and I'll see you in one of the other videos. Bye!